Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to assign icons to a game object. So over here is my scene window, and if I select a game object, and here is the inspector with the selected game object, here it has the name, and here it says the game object is enabled. Then here on the left side, we have a very nice icon. Now here in the scene view, since this game object doesn't have any visual component, you can't actually see anything. So if it's not selected, then I have no idea where it actually is. There's one there and one there. So one thing we can do is go over here into this button and we can select an icon. And if you select one of these, you can click on it and there you go. You can now see the name of the game object with a colored background. This way you can visually see where the game object is. And if you go into the game window, you can also click in here in order to enable gizmos and you can see it in the game window as well. So for example, something that I always find very useful in my games is to always have a game object named pointer and I simply drag a background. And so I can easily drag this object visually in my scene and then I can look in here to see this position is on 4240. So selecting that shows you the background and you can change the various colors. However, you can also select an icon. You can choose one of these preset icons. So for example, like that, this one, and for this player game object, let's add this icon. So there it is, those are now visible. And if you have a specific icon texture, like in here in my project files, I have two nice textures and I can replace them by click on other and select that texture. So there you go, there's one, and on the My Game object, let's also select the other texture. And just like that, all of these objects are now visible in the scene, so I can easily locate them, and if I go into the game scene and enable gizmos, I can also see them. One more thing is here on the scene window. If you're working in 2D, you need to come into the gizmos and disable 3D icons. If you don't, then the 3D icons will be dependent on the size of your zoom. So always disable them when working in 2D. So if you build your game using game objects to do a level design, then using icons can make the process much, much easier. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. All right, see you next time.